Hey fragrance family, I'm Daver and I'm a fragrance bro. Welcome to day 19 of Rose Month. And today I have Rose Barbar by Guerlain. Now Guerlain is a house that needs no introduction. Um, they're as old as perfumery itself it seems. And their reputation and their craftsmanship are above reproach. And one of the things that they are really known for is their quality, their unmatched quality. And I think this really rings true with this fragrance here. This is a wonderful fragrance, and I think it works great on a woman. I think it works really good on a man. Um, it's a light, sweet, uh, citrusy, well, slightly citrusy, um, aldehydic rose. So it's, it, it's rose mixed with aldehydes and a little bit of patchouli in there and honey. And um, it's really, really nice. The aldehydes kind of brings this... Um, a little bit of a citrusy quality to it, and but it's tuned perfectly. It's not. It's not. It's not overly aldehydic. It's not like fizzy. It's not metallic. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't smell like waxy or any of the other other aldehydes. And um, the honey is tuned really well on this. It's not overly sweet. It just adds just enough sweetness. And the rose is definitely there. It's uh, soft and it's billowy. There's a little bit of patchouli in there, but it's not overly. Um, it doesn't. It's not like a rose patchouli combo. I would say. And uh, there's also a fenugreek note in there. And what's interesting about fenugreek is it's, uh, it's an herb that a lot of um, uh, breastfeeding mothers will take to increase their milk production. And I know this because my, 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 uh, my wife is breastfeeding our little daughter. So she has to take these pills. Well, she doesn't have to. She wants to. She takes them so it'll increase her milk production. So I have some fenugreek right, you know, in my cabinet to, to smell as a reference and if it's there it's barely detectable because I don't smell it much at all. Performance on this is pretty good as far as longevity goes. I say it lasts a good while, about uh, about average, maybe a little, little bit over average, but it's really light. And that's my biggest complaint about this is that um, it's a very light fragrance um, and for for this price point, you know, this is part of the this is part of the same line that uh, Spirit Chews Double, Double Vani is in, and uh, Queer Beluga is in. So it's a, it's a really expensive line from Guerlain. At that price point, this is a hard sell. Um, just because I think that people wear this, uh, if people wear this, they want it to have more guts and oomph than it actually does. Um, this could just be something for people that have just money to blow, and I understand that completely. Um, this is, I think this could be like a great uh, bedtime scent. It's kind of more on this, more of like a, like a skin scent kind of thing, like a rich skin scent. And uh, I think it's, for what it is, I think it's good for that. You just have to know what you're getting ahead of time and you're gonna pay for it. My wife thought it was okay. She, li she liked it for her, uh, but not for me. And this is getting, you know, really old and cliche, I know. She said, it's a rose fragrance for her, not for me. She doesn't want to smell it on me, whoa, 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 whoa. The perfumer for this fragrance is Maison Francis Kirk de Jean, And it really shows. It is beautiful in its craftsmanship. It's light. It's, um, it's, it's, it's very him, I think. Um, it's sweet. It's woody. It's a little citrusy. It's, um, uh, it's, it's like a second skin. It seems like he's really good at making those kind of second skin type scents. Really what this fragrance reminds me of is it reminds me of my friend Travis's mom. My friend Travis uh, was a friend, he, we went to the same school, um, or actually we were in the same class, my friend, you know, uh, Jer, and my friend Travis and I, we were all in the same class. But uh, Travis actually lived on the same street as I did growing up in high school. So after school we would go to his house a lot and just play video games. A lot of times we would break out even the old, you know, at that time it was real, you know, it was even then old then it was Nintendo and break out and play Ninja Gaiden and stuff like that. So I remember I had really good memories um, uh, playing video games at his house and just hanging out after school, you know, not doing homework until <laughs> until the next day, just playing first and then doing homework later. So this really reminds me actually of his house and particularly his mother. And his mother is just the sweetest mother and she's kind of in a lot of ways another mother uh, to me and my brother. So this brings back a lot of really fond memories of her and uh, my friend, really relaxing memories. And to put the icing on the cake, when I wore this, um, my uh, my wife and my family and I we, we went on kind of a a quick you know impromptu family trip, 
and it was the perfect day for it. You know, it was very brisk and um, it was a perfect temperature outside. We were just relaxed and having fun. And this fragrance is that. It's very casual. It's very relaxing. So it's almost kind of a contradiction of sorts. You know, this is Barbar, -bar, uh, kind of barbarian rose. And I would almost say it's not as, you know, gruff and tough as barbarian, but it's very laid back and casual and perfect in that way. And uh, just overall, it's just a really wonderful scent. I'll see you tomorrow.